We'll just go in through the the side door and wait inside the garage behind one of the cars. There's another car in the garage there. We'll just wait there. And when he comes in, uh, just wait for him to get out of the car. And then I'm going to give him the good news. Well, he's probably going to come. He lives in this place here, just on the corner here, this hotel here. So he's either going to come, I mean, he normally comes down this alleyway, but he could come up here or here, or he could even come this way. So I've just got to keep my eye out, but basically whatever way he comes, I'm just going to grab him and chuck him in the car. Have you been following him for a while? Yeah. In a week. Here he comes. Right. I'm not going to grab him now though, yeah. right? I'm going to grab him on the way back. Okay. Here he comes here. Just try, be careful with the camera on him, send okay. the fucking camera. That's him there. Uh-huh. He's going for a stroll. Did you get that? <laughs> they used to buy surgical gloves at the chemist, but you only get them in packs of one, and they cost you about six bucks. And then you can get what, packs of 24 for about five bucks, which is good. It's a bit cheaper. Is that him? Yeah, that's him. Right, let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Out of the car, mate. Let's go. Now. Put 
right on the floor now. On the fucking floor now. Max, get in the fucking car. Get your fucking car. And you fucking move when I tell you to move, right? Right? Yeah. Max, Max, Ben. Hi, Ben. What's with the camera? I'm just uh, I'm making a documentary. I'm a film student. About what? About Ray. You're making a documentary, eh? Yeah. About you. Why? Well, you know, we're kind of... kind of neighbours. and Sit down. To... I'm going to get a drink. You want a drink? Or? Oh, yeah, you want a drink? Um, yeah, just a cock. Yeah. yeah. I'll get you a chair too. Thanks. So how long have you known Ben for? Jesus. Uh, about three years. Three or four. Good mates? Oh, we used to be. Yeah, we used to be pretty good mates, but... Uh, yeah, he's got on a... Got on the smack a bit in the last about 18, 18 months or so, so he's gone downhill a bit. But uh, yeah, I mean, I still see him occasionally, and you know. I'm telling you, why would the drug squad want to set you up? I don't know. Maybe you know, it's some. Um, maybe you know, fucking. Fucking bird, you know, at someone's house fucking years ago, and, it's, and they what's found. That, what's that got to do with the fucking drug squad? Well, like, you know, it was one, of, I don't know, a relation or friend of a friend of a friend, and it's found out that it was. Look, mate, just tell and, me. Look, if you've been to, it looks like you haven't been talking to the There's nothing I can fucking do for you. Right? I haven't. Have I, you been talking? This, look at me. Have you been talking to the cops? Look at me. Hmm? Yes or no? Not in the context that you're talking about. I haven't been, I haven't been, you know, fucking interviewed by them, and, and I haven't, I'm not an informant, you know, I'm not telling them shit about anyone. So, you, but you have been talking to the cops? A couple of dudes. Right. But not so like that. I can't see how this has gone back just, to him. How just listen, right? I told you how it got back to him, right? He's got a guy in the fucking drug squad. Huh? Really? I can't. Right. I can't imagine that. Because I said to him, yeah. Listen, listen. Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's just cut the shit. Cut the small talk, right? Freddie said to me, "Get rid of him." Right? We have to have the yeah. fucking camera on when we're talking about this shit. Man. You want to just? Okay. Well, no offense, man. You seem like a nice guy, but. Talking, we're talking some heavy stuff here. You know, okay. He's fine. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Well, I'm just fine. regretting saying a few things. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about the camera. You know? So, when you met him, was he a drug dealer? Or? Yeah, he was actually dealing for Freddy. All oh, right. He was dealing smack for Freddy. Okay. And, uh, and then he started using it and, uh... The friendship's fallen apart a little bit? Or, oh, yeah. Or I... just you lost touch? Yeah, we kind of just don't... We sort of move in different circles a bit now, so we just don't see each other that much. Um, but, yeah, we still get on it, right? But, uh, I mean, he's changed a bit from what he used to be. Which is kind of sad, but yeah, that's the way it goes.
What about if I go and speak to Fred and sort of then? No. Oh, I'll do some birds. You know, this is fucking like a southern scope. You might be, you can do as many birds as you want. You've been talking to the cops. Wide screen television. What I want to hear is that you're going to do that. What I want to hear is that you're going to do that. What I want to hear is that you're going to do that. What I want to hear is that you're going to do that. What I want to hear is that you're going to do that. What I want to hear is that you're going to do that. What I want to hear is that you're going to do that. The, uh, tiles on the road. Right. Get in through the roof. There's a manhole. There's in 350, right? 350. That'll get you out of Melbourne. No, I don't feel. I don't want your money, man. Just fucking take it, right? At least this way. I've done all I can, right? Okay. You get to Sydney? No, no. You get no, to Sydney? No, no, no. no. Let's, let's, let's go, mate. No, it's Sydney. No. You get to Sydney, do you need my money, give me a call. Right, right. that's it. Some yeah. conversations yeah. I haven't had. I'll give you them, right? I've done my best, right? No, let's... No, let's go, mate. Turn, better turn it off. Turn it off, turn the camera. Yeah. Before becoming a hitman, what, what did you do? Not in the army. In the army. For a long time? Eight years. Eight years. And was that uh, like the, the only other job you did or did you do something else before getting to the army? Oh, look, I did a bit of sort of kitchen and sort of stuff before I went in the army. And, uh, just sort of bummed around a bit, did a bit of sort of part-time stuff uh, and then basically went in the army. Okay. And uh, why did you uh, yeah. Well, did you quit the army? No, I got uh, got discharged. You got discharged. Mm -hmm. Any particular reason? Uh, like oh, what? I just uh, had a bit of a problem with the uh, with a guy, and uh, you know, uh, like a superior. Or yeah, yeah. yeah. Bit of a personality okay. clash. What's up, Ray? Open the boot up. Open the boot up. And you get. Dude, I don't mean any disrespect, but I suffer from claustrophobia. Yeah, you're gonna suffer from something else if you don't fucking get in there. Put the light on him, William. What are you shining on me? Get your fat ass out of the fucking car. Uh, you want to sit in the front? Yep. What about guns and ammo? You seen that? Yeah, that's in the road. Yeah. It's a classic. Yeah. Good film. Dirty Dozen? Dirty Dozen. Classic. Oh, yeah, it's a classic, but it's not really a war movie. It's more that. That's a, a, an actor's movie. I mean, well, it was a war movie, then. Yeah. The performance, yeah, but the performances of, of the actors in there were yeah. brilliant. Well, yeah, it's a fucking good actors. Wow. Yeah. You couldn't smart. do that nowadays, mate. You couldn't yeah. make a fucking movie with that many good actors in it. That's true. I mean, if you make it now, it would cost you to produce only, you know, Ojek in it. You had Charlie Bronson. You had Jim Brown. I mean, fucking brilliant actors. Yeah, Clint Eastwood. Yeah, what about him? 
Well, he was good in it. Yeah, he is he's a good actor. He's a brilliant actor, but he wasn't in the Dirty Dozen. <laughs> he was, mate. He's in the fucking Dirty Dozen. <laughs> he fucking wasn't, mate. He was fucking so. Come, come on. I mean, you must be, be mistaken. I don't know. I'm not but, mistaken, mate. I mean, I've seen the movie, yeah, a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> Clint Eastwood definitely isn't in the Dirty Dozen. He is, mate. He shoots a guy with a silencer in it. No, no, he goes no. in this room, there's a guy sitting at the radio and he goes in, he's got a Nazi uniform in, on and he goes in with a silencer and he shoots a guy. Yeah, no, this you're talking about. <laughs> that's not Clint Eastman. No, can't quite remember the name of the actor, but <laughs> that's definitely not Clint Eastman. I'll bet you fucking 100 bucks, mate, it was Clint Eastman. <laughs> Fuck you. I'll bet you a thousand bucks. You got a thousand bucks? Of course, yeah. You sure? Yeah. Yeah, all right, okay. What's up? No. So what did you get up? You seen the Dirty Dozen? The movie? No, the musical. Have you seen the movie? Yeah. The Dirty Dozen? Yep. Right? Who was in it? Um, uh, Donald Sutherland? Lee Marvin? Clint Eastwood? Was he? Clint Eastwood? Yeah. No, no. He was in uh, Where Eagles Dare with Richard Burton. But he definitely wasn't in the Dirty Dog. Yeah, there's no other fuck he's talking about. Yeah. We'll get it on video. So why did you ask him then? You want to get on the boot with him? Not particularly. Then we'll shut the fuck up. And get in the fucking car. That lights fucking strong. Yeah, but we need it. But the other thing about disposing the bodies. Because after all, I mean, what's important is that you you don't get caught. But then sooner or later, probably the, the, the bodies get found. Not if I'm doing it. So you make sure that yeah. that they just disappear. Yeah. You got no body. You got no cops. Yeah. I mean, the cops have got no body. All they've got is a missing person. Yeah, so they're, so they're, they're not going to come around asking mm, questions and, you know, so... No evidence. Yeah, no. yeah. Let's pull it over here. Right, over here. Over here. There. Stand there. Fast, move. All right. Over there, mate. Go by the car. Start the... It's all fucking small what deals. What are you doing with 80 grand cash? Oh, let's just call it a bit of a nest egg. A nest egg. And where is it? Where's this money? Uh, just out of Bathurst. Yeah, where? Yeah, off on, on uh, my old man's property up there. Whereabouts on the property? It's marked, but it's not easily. You can't just walk around there. And get it because um, yeah, anyone will dig it up. Come on, man, I've got a daughter. Just fucking dig. I don't give a shit about your daughter. Mm. 
Anybody got any chewy on it? Mars, you got any chewy? Let me see. Huh? Maybe. Yeah? Yep. Yeah? It's not that sugar free fucking puff to chew here. Nah. What is it? PK. Mm -hmm. I have to do. Juicy fruits are preferred. What are you doing? You call that digging? No, oh, I'm breaking. What's that? I'm you're breaking the shit off the edges. You're breaking the shit off the edges. You break the shit off the edges, we'll be here till fucking Christmas. Dig the hole. Put your foot on top of the spade, right? And push it into the ground. That's how you dig a fucking hole. But the dirt's too hard. The dirt's too hard, is it? It's pretty hard. If I spit the chewy out. Yeah. You have the chewy. With 80 grand, you could buy 80 yeah, million uh, packs of chewy. I'm fucking talking here, do you mind? Just dig the fucking hole. If I spit the chewy out, yeah, and then have a cigarette, then there's only one chewy left. Okay. Is it all right if I have that chewy? Yeah. I mean, I don't like, I just don't like to take your last chewy, that's all. Right. Oh, you can have it. Yeah, no worries. Right. Well, I gotta fucking have it now. Well, you could buy it. What do I say? You How can... many fucking times do I have to tell you to stop jabbing the fucking shovel in the ground? Put your foot on the top of the shovel. Now, put your foot up. That's it. Now, push. That's what I want you to do. If I see you again jabbing the fucking shovel in the ground like that, I'm going to shoot you in the fucking head and dig the fucking hole myself. Right? Right? Mm -hmm. Fucking hell. I mean, what does it take for me to fucking prove to you that I will fucking disappear? I guarantee you disappearance. I'm not fucking... Fuck. Wait, 80 grand is a lot of money after all. 80 grand is a lot of money after you might, all. You might think of retiring yourself. Even if you don't fucking, fucking 80 grand, mate. Piss it up against the wall, whatever. Fuck, it's still a significant lump sum of money. And not many fucking people can say, yeah, I've got 80 grand fucking cash sitting in my fucking pocket or whatever. And all I can fucking say, I guarantee disappearance. I'm fucking gone. I'm out of here. I'm fucking... And you'll never... No one will ever hear me, see me, or smell me ever again. And if... The, fuck. If, if, well, what if we get there? At least fucking... At least... See that the money is, exists, and that is, it's got to be taken as some kind of token that I will fucking go. If I'm not bullshitting about the fucking money, then I'm not bullshitting about fucking disappearing. It doesn't. It's not. It's not like it's. It's really any fucking major fucking trial or tribulation for you to fucking to, to stop this now. All you're doing is postponing the inevitable rather than fucking. Oh, put this. Put this shovel down. Bullshit. Stay in the fucking hole. Sit in. Come on, man, you don't have to do this. Just sit in. The money is there. Sit. Th don't pick that fucking shovel up. Sit in. If I was gonna shoot you, I'd just fucking shoot you. Right? What just sit down. Just hole? don't you worry about it. You just fucking sit down. Fucking take a break. Relax. Take it easy. Max, could I grab a smoke off you, mate? Would that be all right? Yeah, sure. No uh, problem. Uh, excuse me. You're not fucking smoking, right? It's not a fucking smoke out break. You stay there. You move. And we fucking trouble. Now, uh... Just keep that line on. Ah, oh, fuck it.
Get in. I'm there. The boot. Well, not the boot again. I'll start this Please. shit, pal. Just get in the fucking boot. But I won't last eight hours in there. I'll fucking die. I'm, I'm claustrophobic for fuck's sake. All right. Would you prefer the hole or the boot? But listen, what's the problem with him sitting in the back? Have you smelled him? Well, he pissed himself. I'm claustrophobic. Yeah, well, you're not sitting in the car fucking stinking to fire my car up. But look, Ray, it's not even your car. You stole it. So what's your point? So what do you care? Well, I've got to sit in it, right? I've got to drive eight hours up to Bathurst. I'm not driving that far with this guy fucking stinking a piss. Well, I'll take me Dax off. And what are you going to wear in a car? Nothing. You're not fucking sitting in there with your fucking dick hanging here. Why don't you give him your underpants? <laughs> give him your fucking underpants, pal. I'm not giving him mine. Okay. I'll do it. Hold the camera. Hold the camera. Oh. Yeah? By the legs. Yeah? Right? Good. Thanks, man. No worries. I appreciate this. started with pot when I was about 15. There was a m in school. Ah, in school? Yeah. A lot of kids smoking pot at school, you know. So, I was happy to provide them with what they required. Yeah, I'm living comfortably now, that's for sure. How much do they make a year? Oh, about, I'd say, Probably clear about a hundred grand a year. Gee, it's not bad. It's not bad. No, yeah, it's not good either. It's no, no biggie, you know. It's not like I'm some big boss drug dealing crime lord. So is your daughter living with your wife? Yeah. yeah I see her like once a month and maybe a couple of nights. Like a weekend a month, and then maybe a couple of nights through the week here and there, depending on how Michelle feels. Mm. So, and what, what does your wife do? How does she support herself and and the daughter? She's on the dole at the moment. So, do you do you pass on money to them? Oh, fucking oath, mate. I, I might be a drug dealer, but I'm not a scumbag. I look after my daughter. I love her with every bit of my heart. When you got broken into? Yeah. Who? Yeah. What'd they get? Oh. Everything. TV, stereo, uh, VCR, DVD player. Did you tell the other cops? Yes, I did. But. And I, I actually, I actually even know who did the job, that um, the cops can do anything because there, there's no, you know, there's no evidence. Who, who do you think did it? Well, who do I think? I'm sure that it's, uh, this guy, Edna, is got a, uh, it's a junkie that um, I used to live with in, um, in car, you know, for robbery, so, yeah. you know. And, uh, but apart from that, after I spoke to the cops, I, I went around his place and, uh, you know, he denied it, but he denied it in a way that, uh, yes, I fucked you, mate, you know? You can't do anything. <laughs> so... Uh, so that's how you know. Yeah. And where's he live this girl? Brunswick. Well, uh, 
It's all pissed off. What about we go around there and uh, I'll have a chat to him. So what's we gonna do? Oh, I'm just gonna have a word to him. See what he says. And what if he denies everything? Well, I'll sort him out. What do you mean sort him out? I mean I'll sort out, mate. Yeah. Well. Look, listen, I, I don't really feel comfortable with this. Could you, could you just go and talk to him? Well, I can talk to him, but I mean, if he's, I mean, you spoke to him, he's denied it to you. He's probably pretty much just going to deny it to me. So, I mean, you know, I can talk to him, but I don't think that's going to get me very far. Yes, but could you just do me this favor? Just go and talk without using any violence and and see, you know, and see what happens. Okay, I mean, all right, yeah, yeah, see what happens. But what happens if he denies it? What do I... Well, we'll, we'll think about it later. You, you just go and uh, without, you know, without even thinking of hitting him and just try to talk and convince him. Can you do that? I'm, I, I know, I mean, you know, can you do that? But about the drug, your drug issue, what, what are your position? Do you think that should be legalized? Or, uh, what do you think? Well, I think if you probably three quarters of your three quarters of your crime at the moment is probably drug related. So if you get rid of drugs, you're basically three quarters of crime you're going to wipe out overnight. So you know. From a public point of view, it's probably a good idea. I mean, they've had this war on drugs for the last, what, 20 years or so? And I don't see that they've actually stopped anybody. I mean, everybody's still taking them. More people are taking them every day. I mean, you can't, you can't stop people doing something they want to do. You know, if I want to go and... Uh, If I want to go and do drugs or, you know, shoot up, nobody's going to stop me, you know what I mean? Johnny Howard thinks he's going to stop me doing drugs. I mean, he's fucking, uh, you know, it ain't going to happen. You want to just go through yeah. there? Okay. Just watch that pole there, mate. Yep. Uh -huh. Yeah, so, you know, legalise it. Um, and a lot less people are going to die of... Um, But don't, but don't you think that uh, a free access to, to such dangerous substances would uh, have a very bad impact on the, the public health? Well, I think the, the only people who are going to, like heroin, for example, mm. the only person who's going to take heroin is a fucking idiot in the first place. So, you know... All it's going to do is thin out the thin out the dickheads. You know what I mean? I mean, I think. Look, if you're as far as I'm concerned, if you're stupid enough to take heroin, you're a fucking idiot.
Happy? What did he say? Oh, what do you think he said? Oh, look. <laughs> Let's go then. <laughs> no, mate, I'm not going anywhere. Anyway. I'm going to sort this fucking prick out, right? Look, listen. Uh, I don't feel comfortable with yeah, that. Yeah, well, that's it's a bit late for that now, mate, all right? No, it's a bit late uh, for feeling hold on. comfortable. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Listen, listen, listen. Okay. Uh, I understand I'm not going to stop you. Well, you can't. Well, but... Could you please use the least, the least amount of violence necessary? Can you do that? Can you try to use the least I amount of violence? I will try to use the least amount, amount of violence, violence necessary. necessary. Okay? Yes. yes. Are you cool with that? I'm cool with that. Yeah. Thanks. I really, I really appreciate it. Okay. Can I go now? Yeah. Okay. Jesus Christ. That fucking freak. Your CD player, your DVD player. Yeah. He's gotten rid of those. What do you reckon they would have cost you if you bought them now? Hmm. Well, at least a grand. A grand? All right. You own two grand, all right? What day is it today? Today, Wednesday. Okay. You got till next Wednesday. That's a week, right? To come up with two grand. You know where he lives, right? If he doesn't have the two grand a week, I'll be coming back here, right? And you know what's going to happen, right? Okay, now yeah, apologise. Man, I'm sorry. I'm yeah. very sorry. Yeah. Okay, happy with that? Yeah, it's all right. Happy? Yeah? Yeah. All right, piss off. A week. Happy chappy? So... That's your least amount of violence. I'd hate to see the maximum. You say you, you, you have children? Yep. How many? One. Boy, girl? Girl. Girl? Yeah. How old is she? She's seven. Seven? Yeah. Mm. Do you see her? I used to see her. I used to see her a fair bit, but... My ex-wife, she's moved up to Queensland. She's remarried, so... Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, it's kind of... Makes it hard. Yeah. yeah, I mean... I'd like to see her, but... I feel like I'm kind of... Um, I can hang her on to it, you know, I'm out of the loop, you know what I mean? Mm. They got the little family going and I go up there and I feel like, oh, you know, I feel like, uh, you know. You're still in good uh, uh, 
uh, relations with your oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, look, you know, pretty good. I mean, I don't talk to her that much, but yeah, I mean... Yeah, there's no hate. Uh, no, there's no hate or anything like that. Yeah. What do you want? Just get us a hamburger. Uh, what do you want on this? I'll just get us a plain one. All right. But onions. You get extra sauce too. Like, you know, the little sauce packets, little plastic ones. The tomato sauce, you mean? Yeah, tomato yeah. sauce. They'll put tomato sauce on it. Yeah, that's what you mean. Just do it. Just get us a big in. <laughs> Iced coffee. Oh, all right. Yeah. Want sugar on your neck? Don't want sugar in it. Yeah. No, it comes with sugar, mate. It's a big M. It's like a flavoured milk thing. Oh, all right. So I put it in already. So, so they got sugar in it already. Yeah. All right. Tommy? Hmm? Something to drink? Something to eat? Yes, please. Yeah, what do you want? What do they got? Uh, hamburgers and stuff. I don't know. Do they have two lockies? I reckon. Or if they've got souvlakis, I'll have a chicken souvlaki, please. Chicken souvlaki. And but if they don't have chicken, yeah, I'll just have a hamburger with the lot, please. Hamburger with the lot. Yeah. Right. Something to drink? Yeah, just a coke, please. Just a coke. Good. Right. Could you hold the camera for me, please? And just make sure it doesn't fall off the dash. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Good. Max. Yeah, can close. Okay. But if they don't have garlic sauce, yeah, I'll just have the hamburger instead. Just okay. get him a fucking hamburger. You married? What do you want to know? Oh, just making conversation. Any kids? If you could have any car, like in the world, what would it be? Porsche. Like a new one or one of the old classics? Or? Turbo. Four wheel. The latest one, the latest, latest turbo. Cool. Yeah. What about you? Oh, mate, oh, I've got this beautiful Commodore. Mm. And it's not in the best condition, but I love it. What sort? BK. Mm. Yeah, but, um,. Yeah, if, I mean, if money was no option, I wouldn't buy some Schmicko Ferrari or anything. I'd just do her up. What is it? What sort of Commodore? VK. A VK? Yeah. You'd rather have a VK Commodore than a Ferrari? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I'm not, I mean, I'm not a big rev head sort of car man, so... Or anything, you know. Simple pleasures. So if somebody gave you a choice, they gave you a $500,000 Ferrari, a VK Commodore, you'd take the VK Commodore? Not any VK Commodore, I'd take my VK Commodore. You'd take your VK Commodore over a Ferrari? If I had the cost of the Ferrari in cash to be able to spend on on the Commodore. That's it. How are you going to spend 500 grand on a well, fucking I Commodore? Wouldn't, I, I wouldn't have to, but, you know, like, it would probably cost me... To have it completely schmick and as new kind of thing, probably t 10, 20 grand or something. You know, get it all done by the by the, the people in the know. Do a bit myself. But.
We've been to the Mardi Gras. The gay Mardi Gras? Yeah, well, is there any non-gay Mardi Gras? Yeah. Yeah, have you been? To the gay Mardi Gras? Yeah. No. Why not? I mean, if you've been to Sydney, it's what, one of the... What would I want to go to the gay Mardi Gras for? Because it's fun, lots of people go. Yeah. Lots of people go. Yeah. Yeah. But why would I go? Am I lots of people? What, what are you trying to say? Huh? You trying to say I'm a poof? No. No. It's what are you asking me if I'm going to Mardi Gras for? Have you been in the Mardi Gras? Well, I've never been to Sydney, but... Well, why, you know. why haven't you been in the Mardi Gras? There's a Mardi Gras down here in Melbourne. Is there? Yeah, I think no. down in St Kilda there's one. No. Have you been there? No. How come? Well, I didn't know. You didn't know? Why not? No. Well, That's because not it, good it didn't, didn't come to, you know. And nobody told me. I don't know. But, uh, you know, probably because I don't... Uh... <laughs> if you'd have known, would you have gone? Probably would have. Okay. Yeah. I mean, what? Because you're a poof. No. So you against? Have you got something against uh, homosexuals? Oh look, I don't think I've got anything against them. I mean, it's not my cup of tea, but you know, whatever blows your whistle. All no, right. Yeah. Huh? Oh, because you know he's a very attractive man, you know. You're a very beautiful man. Fascinating man. Charming. Yeah. At times. Yeah, you keep going. Uh -huh. I mean, you, you know, I definitely think you should go. Yeah. 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 Well, maybe we'll go together. Oh. Last time I spoke to you. I went to Sydney for a couple of weeks, all right? Things didn't work out. Let's go. Let's go. Where? We're going to go for a little drive, all right? right? Let's go. You pick a state. All right. Where do you want to go? We're going for a drive. We're going to go. I'm going to drive you to wherever the fuck you want to go, all right? Where do you want to go? You know, you too. No. If I come with you, just tell me that nothing's bad. Nothing bad. Nothing is bad is gonna happen as long as you do it on your fucking t shirt. If I was gonna whack you, mate, you'd be fucking dead already, right? I would have done you in the fucking alley back there, right? You can pick a fucking state. Where do you want to go? You're the man I'd like to So, where do you want to go? Queensland. Whatever's easier for you. Whatever's easier for me. How about I fucking shoot you right here in the alley? That's easy for me. Is that good for you? Okay, he's gay. He's kicking around Hollywood and all that sort of shit. He doesn't want to be gay because he feels like it'll damage his career. Because at the time he, the, he was being young and gay, was you know, gayness was still pretty shied upon. He's fucking all these blokes, left, right, and center. Well, it sounds to me like a, a pile of bullshit. <laughs> it sounds like a pile of bullshit to me, too. Yeah, we'll just keep listening. This makes too much sense. So, yeah, right. so what? How many people in Hollywood are gay, then? Well, is everybody gay in Hollywood? Most. Well, look, uh, a look, fair proportion. Well, if he's gay, I want to be gay, too. Because <laughs> the thing, being gay... <laughs> Then you get, yeah, he gets. Yeah, yeah. What women he gets. I wish I could yeah, get the kind of women he gets. <laughs> I want to be gay. Yeah, I want to be gay too. Yeah, look Can I be gay? You can be gay, but there's not much point because he's got these relatively attractive women hanging off his shoulder, but it's all fucking sham. So he's not having sex with them? No. 
Is uh, that's the, the Ah, uh, hang I, on. I know, Does he have his own kids? Children? Listen, because even the, the women he marries, yeah. he ha they're gay too. They, I mean, according to the Tony's theory. No, I didn't say everyone in Hollywood is gay, and I certainly didn't say all women are gay. But there's a lot of gay men. It's a pretty fucking gay profession if you think about it. Through fucking history, there's a lot of been a lot of gay, poofed fucking bloke actors. My <sighs> 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 balls aren't hanging out. Ah. <sighs> Do you want to have to? Fuck. Huh? I'm going to jump the chair, right? Okay. Keep an eye on him, right? Do you ready? Look. I can't guarantee anything. But I think he's going to let you go. I mean, I'll have a word with him. But I'm pretty sure you're going to make it. You're going to make it up with this. But, of course, I can't guarantee. So, what if, what if you let me go now, right now, while he's in there? No, <laughs> can't do that. But he, he's not going to do anything to you. No. You're not a criminal. That ray guy in there. If I let you go, it's not gonna be a happy chappy. Yeah, and, yeah. and that is the last thing I wanna see. Ray not being an happy chappy. You know what I mean? Mm hmm So don't ask me again. Sure. Oh, what shadow are you guys? Doing fine, don't do it. Alright? Okay. Alright. So, what the camera cost you? That uh, one? Well, well, it's about 5,000. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Well, I'm getting to bed. What are you taking your pants off for? Well, I can't sleep with my pants on. Well, you're not fucking asleep next to me with your fucking cock in it, then. What do you mean? Well, I mean, I mean, you're not sleeping next to me <laughs> with your fucking bare ass. Well, I'm not gonna fuck you up the ass if that that was. Yeah, well, you I don't want to take any fucking chances, all right? <laughs> Come on. No. How long have you known each other? Not fucking long enough for you to sleep next to me, fucking naked. <sighs> oh, I mean, all I mean to interrupt here, but. I don't think it'd matter how long I've known someone old. A bloke I'd feel pretty weird about sleeping with if he was naked. Look, pal, I gave you my own this. So shut the fuck up. I appreciate that. I'm indebted to you for that. So you sleep however you want. Good. No, you sleep with your fucking pants on. Right? Or you can sleep on the couch. Right? On the couch. Yeah. You want to sleep with no pants on? Yeah, but there's no, on the I mean, there's no other blankets. Yeah, that's so. not my problem. Just sleep with your fucking pants on. What's a big deal? I got my pants on. But I'm not used to. Come not on. used to what? To sleep with my pants on. Well, you're just going to have to get used to it, right? You big poofter. So Ben, do you follow footy? Yeah. Who do you barrack for? North Melbourne. North Melbourne? Isn't it the team where that guy fucked his mate's wife? What's his name? What's his name? Uh, Wayne Carey. 
Wayne Carey, that's him, that's him. So he's the captain and he fucks the vice captain wife. You know, very smart, you know, he must be a really nice guy. Oh, you know, it wasn't the smartest thing to do, but everyone makes mistakes, Max. Well, not a fucking mistake, mate. Sticking your fucking dick in your best mate's wife. That ain't a mistake. Yeah, it is. It's a mistake. How is that a mistake? Because, you know, it's a, like a life mistake. Like, you, you know, like you make life mistakes. But it's a mistake, it's more like if you're at school and you misspell a word, that's a mistake. Yeah, that's a mistake. Somebody asks you to spell cat and you spell it C-O-T, that's a mistake. But sticking your dick in your best mate's wife, it's not a mistake. Unless it was dark when he fucked her. So it was the wrong decision then, which is, I guess... Because, uh, I mean, Kerry knew what he was doing was wrong. He knew that it wasn't his wife. He knew whose wife it was. He knew it was wrong, but he did it anyway. So that's not a mistake. A mistake is when you don't know it's wrong when you're doing it. Well, yeah, I reckon he deserves a second chance. He's already had a second chance. This well, is the second time he's pulled some shit like this. He's bloody went to court a couple of years ago for filling up a chick's tits. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with what's wrong with what? Filling up a chick's tits? Filling the titties. Look, if she if she's uh, if she's happy for you to do it, then that's great. But she wasn't. How do you know she just wasn't lying? Like. Uh... Well, look, you have to go by what the court says. I mean, the court says, you know, they heard all the evidence and they said, yep, yeah, you know. Don't believe everything you read. Oh, well, look, you, I mean, you, I mean, I think you're, you're just biased. I mean, you're a North Melbourne supporter, so, of course, everything Wayne Carey does. No. I mean, you think the sun shines out his ass. The great outdoors. That's it, mate. So I'm t supposed to take a shit out right there. We can get in the road if you like. Right. <clears throat> what am I supposed to use the white marks? Thanks. Beautiful. Thank you, you fucking cock. <laughs> I wouldn't. It's all right. Mm -hmm. How much would it take for you to eat a bowl of shit? Of all the shit. Yeah. Let's say they presented you with uh, the offer, you know, money for eating a bowl of shit. How big's a bowl? Mm, that's a sewer bowl. Shit, what? Well, doesn't matter. What's the difference in. I mean, shit or shit? My shit look, ain't shit. Look, look. Big look. difference between my shit and somebody else's shit. Well, what's the difference? Well, it's my shit. I don't want to eat somebody else's fucking shit. Okay, okay. Look, let's say it's your shit then. Yeah. How much would it take for you to eat it? Hundred grand. Hundred grand? Mm hmm. That's for a bowl of your shit. How about, how about my shit? Half a mil. Half a mil. So about five times. Why? Why? What's the? I mean, my shit is definitely is gonna be better than yours since I, I eat a lot better. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's your shit. Yeah. So it doesn't matter how good you eat. It's never gonna be better than my shit. Well. Well, let's leave it like that. So how much to eat my shit? For you? Oh, I wouldn't. You wouldn't eat my shit no. for any money in the world? Well, I wouldn't eat your shit, I wouldn't eat my shit. I just wouldn't. You know, I'm not into shit. 
Yeah, well, I'm not big on shit either. <laughs> 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 I mean, I wouldn't do it for free. Yeah. Where's the jacket? More up my ass with it. Oh. Huh. I don't get it. Did he suffer? Well, I don't think he did. But no. Well, there you go, mate. Well, that's why I did it. He didn't suffer. If somebody else had did it, somebody else who didn't give a shit about him, he would have fucking suffered. Right? You understand? Yeah, I understand this, but I don't understand how you can... I mean... Still, you killed him. I mean, you, you killed your friend. He had to go, right? Somebody was going to do it, right? If not me, somebody else, right? That somebody else, right, would have made him suffer. He would have known it was coming. He would have been pissing his pants and crying his fucking eyes out, right? And if that's the way he's going to go, I didn't want him to fucking go like that, right? At least this way, he didn't fucking suffer, right? See how we go. What does it depend on? I mean, I think it's been honest, and I don't think it gonna, you know, fuck around. I think the money's there and everything will go smooth. See, I'll make up my mind then, I guess. Uh, if he doesn't, you know, if he shows his face back down in Melbourne again, you know, that's not good for me. But I don't think it will. Yeah, but that's the thing, mate. I mean, there's no guarantee. I mean, if he ends up in jail, if he goes to Queensland and ends up in jail, you know, I don't... You know, I don't think it's such a good idea to let him go.
Oh, what do you say, Ethan? I know it's not 80 cash. But I didn't know what else to tell you. I thought if I told you that it was cash, you'd be more inclined to take me up on the offer. But that is half a key of pure, uncut coke. And you, you, you'll easily get 100 grand for it. What am I supposed to do with it? Do I look like a fucking drug well, dealer? Well, no. But you know drug dealers, or I know drug dealers. I've got contacts, and if I... I mean, I can talk to him and say, look, I've got this half a key, pure... Well, not much, like heaps, heaps more, but it's cheap. And so they're guaranteed to buy it. I guarantee you can, you can offload in 24 hours. And if I had said to you, I've got a bag of coke up there, I don't think you would have... Right? Do you understand my predicament? Do you understand where I'm coming from? Because, I mean, if you were in the same situation, you're going to say what you... Huh? I'm not bullshit. That's, that's like pounds of cash. It's like $80,000 in powdered cash right there. Take off. Oh, I can go. Piss off. Now yeah, piss off, mate. Come on, he told you to go. Go. Thanks, Ray. Thanks, go. Max. Go. I won't forget this. Ugliest pair of fucking underpants you've ever seen, you know? What do you mean? That mine. No. But is it, if you're watching there, it means that. Right, uh, yeah, I'll get you. What Paul yeah. Hanson did. Where she said, you know, if you're watching this, I'm dead, sort of thing. Kind of thing, yes. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, yeah, like I'm dead. When people see this, I'm dead already. Yes, okay. yes. Right. But they don't know. So you have to tell them. I mean, they might know. It depends how you die, you know? Yeah, all right. If you not die in some spectacular way, yeah. and you get, you know, to be famous, <laughs> which, which would be good because then I would make a little bit of money out of this if you actually became famous. Yeah. Well. Yeah, but you're going to be fucked. Am I? Well, this comes out. Right? People see me killing people, and you were there. I mean, that makes you an accessory. Well, I'll figure a way not to, you know. I'll just get the money. 
You just get the money. I don't care about and fame. And go to South America, right? Yes. Yeah. All right. So I'm just saying I'm, I'm dead. Basically. Yeah. All right, okay. Like, if you watch, you know, <laughs> if you're watching dead, that means that, uh, and, yeah. uh, you know. I'm dead, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, you know, be kind of dead serious. But serious? Hu but humorous. Okay. Yep. You want to look there? Or you? Yeah, no. There? Camera, oh. camera. Like, lens. But you know Marlon Brando. That's what you're trying to do now. <laughs> no, that, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So you just tell me when you want. Anytime. Right now. Yeah. Yeah. Wrong. Okay. Um. The root. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, I just got to think of what I'm gonna say. Oh, okay. You're wrong. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, the reason um, I agreed, I mean, when I decided I was, what, fuck, that's tough. How's it going? When I agreed to make this documentary, I, I agreed on one condition. The condition, the condition was the public would only get to see this film if I was dead, after I was dead. So if you're seeing this now, basically means that, you know, I'm no longer with us, sort of thing. So, um, yeah, I hope you, you know, enjoy the, uh, Enjoy the show. That's it. All right, so what are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna catch the tram up here. Yeah. What about you? I just get on the train, I think. Alright. Um, well, well we, you know, I'll give you a call, you give me a call. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. And, uh, well, thanks very much, it's been like great. No worries, mate. Yeah. All right, see you soon. Oh, yeah, keep in touch. Alright, sure.